Why is the planet oppressed? Profit. This is, this is the underlining factor. Because for humanity, you know, in Africa, for example, it is difficult for an African man to save the life of a tree when he cannot save the life of his son. You understand me? It is difficult for an African man to save a rhino when he can't save his daughter, man. So the oppression of humanity leads directly to the destruction of the environment. I mean, okay, in America, you know, they have the Gulf of Mexico oil spill and the whole world is screaming, oh, the Gulf of Mexico. In my country, <laughs> <laughs> when you come to my country, you know, you watch CNN, BBC, and uh, France 24, you know, the mainstream media, they tell you, oh, Africans get a foreign investment. This is media talk for massive pollution. As an African, I have not seen the benefit of foreign investment. But I have seen the destruction of my environment for foreign profits. You know, you come to my country, you see farms and whole huge seas and oceans filled with oil and destroyed. And people cannot eat, you know. So it is difficult for oppressed people in an oppressed planet, you understand? to protect the environment. So when you see the struggle anywhere in the world, the struggle for humanity in itself directly relates to the destruction of the environment. Because the environment belongs to everybody, you know. But some people believe that they need it more than you and I. You know, they need to get the oil from fracking. It is more important than you and I. They need to get their plastic, for their profit is more important than you understand this. So I repeat, this struggle for humanity in itself directly relates to the struggle for our planet and the environment. This next song is called African Smoke, everybody.
tonight is what I believe can be a solution to inequality all over the world. This song is called 